Hello, I'm Hitarth Nirvala, and I'm going to present our paper, The Role of Latent Semantic Categories and Clustering in Enhancing the Efficiency of Human Sensitivity Review, along with Graham McDonald and Iyad Onas. I would like to start by giving a brief overview of sensitivity review. In many countries, government documents are required to be released to the public to comply with freedom of information laws. However, before publicly releasing, these documents need to undergo a manual review process to identify and protect any sensitive information such as personal or confidential information, in which the review organizers prioritize and allocate documents for review and the sensitivity reviewers are responsible for making accurate sensitivity judgments. In the digital era, the volume of document collections is often very high as compared to the available resources for a fully manual sensitivity review process. And many countries have reported a massive backlog in releasing documents to the public. In this work, we aim to increase the efficiency of human sensitivity reviews by leveraging latent semantic categories that describe a high level topic or subject domain in a collection. I will now discuss the role of semantic categories in efficient sensitivity reviews. Semantic categories can facilitate the understanding of high-level topics or subject domains in a collection, for example, criminality or political events. We hypothesize that presenting the reviewers with such clusters of semantically similar documents will assist them to quickly provide sensitive judgments for related documents. Moreover, different semantic categories can indicate how likely are the documents in a category to be sensitive. For example, documents about criminality are more likely to contain sensitive information compared to documents about political events. We further hypothesize that ranking documents in semantic clusters to prioritize the documents that are predicted to be non-sensitive will increase the number of documents that are opened to the public within a fixed reviewing time budget. We refer to this as openness. In this work, we propose a system for sensitivity review that first deploys document clustering to identify latent semantic categories in a collection. It further deploys a sensitivity classifier to automatically prioritize document clusters by ranking them in increasing order of mean predicted sensitivity to increase openness. However, in large collections, ranking clusters may not be effective for review prioritization since a large cluster with even the lowest sensitivity proportion may still have many sensitive documents that would be reviewed ahead of non-sensitive documents in other clusters. For example, in the criminality cluster, documents from author one can present sensitive information such as personal details of the victims, whereas documents from author two can discuss general non-sensitive information such as how a country is dealing with criminal activity. Therefore, we propose to leverage document metadata information to split large clusters into smaller semantic document groups that can provide finer grained sensitivity proportions for effective review prioritization. We conducted two user studies to evaluate the effectiveness of different clustering techniques for grouping semantically related documents to increase the efficiency of sensitivity reviewers and the effectiveness of the proposed method of prioritizing document clusters for review to increase the number of documents open to the public in a fixed time frame. For our user studies, we developed a web-based reviewing interface where the participants were presented with multiple text passages and were asked to make a judgment as to whether a passage did or did not contain any sensitive information. We sampled the text passages from a collection of government documents annotated for freedom of information sensitivities. In our review efficiency study, we addressed the following two research questions. Does reviewing documents in semantic categories improve reviewers' efficiency? And which is the most effective document testing approach for sensitivity review? We follow a mixed experimental design in the study. That is, for research question one, we evaluate the impact of reviewing documents with or without clustering in a within subject design. And for research question two, we follow a between subject design to evaluate the effectiveness of different clustering techniques, namely K-means, DEC, and SCCL from the literature. We use different set of passages for the control and treatment conditions, where each set comprises of 20 passages, including five sensitive passages. We counterbalance the test conditions along with the sets of passages resulting into 12 participant groups for which we overall recruited 42 participants using MDR. In this study, we evaluated participants' balanced accuracy and reviewing speed in terms of normalized processing speed. We found that reviewing documents in semantic clusters significantly improved the reviewer's efficiency without significantly affecting the accuracy. Moreover, the improvements in the reviewer's efficiency are not significantly affected by the various clustering methods we evaluated, which shows that the system's effectiveness is not dependent on a particular clustering technique. Moving on to the review openness study, we address the following two research questions. Does our proposed approach for splitting large clusters using metadata attributes for review prioritization increase openness? 
which is the number of non-sensitive documents reviewed within a limited period? And does these cluster plus metadata document groups offer similar review efficiency improvements compared to the original clusters? In this study, we follow a between subject experimental design where we compare three review prioritization strategies. First, prioritizing documents without clusters using sensitivity probabilities obtained by a sensitivity classifier from the literature and the document's lens. That is, the document with the lowest sensitivity probability and the shortest length will be reviewed first. Second, prioritizing large document clusters using their mean sensitivity probabilities followed by prioritizing documents within each cluster. And finally, our proposed method of prioritizing cluster plus metadata groups using their mean sensitivity probabilities followed by prioritizing documents within each group. Corresponding to the three test conditions, we created three participant groups and recruited 36 participants using MTurk. In this study, we use a single set of 20 passages, including five sensitive passages. To evaluate openness, we deploy two metrics. First, absolute openness, that is the number of documents selected to be open per unit time, and openness area under the curve that measures the number of documents selected to be open as a function of time. We found that our cluster plus metadata review prioritization approach significantly improves absolute openness and openness area under the curve compared to ranking documents without cluster, while prioritizing large clusters does not significantly improve openness area under the curve. Moreover, the cluster plus metadata approach shows similar improvements in the reviewing speed as provided by reviewing documents in semantic clusters. According to the follow-up questionnaire in our studies, 85.4% participants preferred reviewing documents in semantic clusters. We also observed that splitting large clusters into cluster plus metadata groups does not negatively affect the human interpretability of the clusters. Moreover, reviewing documents in the cluster plus metadata document groups can significantly reduce the difficulty for the reviewers in making sensitivity judgment. Therefore, our study shows that the reviewers prefer to review documents in semantic clusters and smaller clusters also make it easier for the reviewers to make sensitivity judgments. To conclude, in this paper, we presented a system for sensitivity review that leverages latent semantic categories to assist the human reviewers to quickly review related documents. In addition, we proposed a review prioritization strategy to assist the review organizers in increasing the number of documents open to the public in a fixed reviewing time budget. We conducted two user studies that evaluated the effectiveness of different clustering techniques, document metadata, and automatic sensitivity classification for grouping and prioritizing documents for review. We showed that reviewing documents in semantic clusters can significantly increase the efficiency of the reviewers, and our proposed review prioritization strategy can significantly improve openness. Overall, these important contributions can assist the governments to publicly release their documents in a timely manner to comply with freedom of information laws. Please refer to our paper for more details on our experiments and analysis. Thanks for listening.